Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm the author of the blog CapturingWinterland.com. Today I have a super easy craft. I don't have a lot of things on my refrigerator simply because I don't like to have it cluttered. But for a couple of years now, I have had um, four picture frames that have magnets on the back that I actually got from the Target dollar store. My daughter loves these. They have been a big hit in the family. They've become a staple in our kitchen. My current toddler, my two-year-old, actually loved them a little bit too much and they started falling apart from having been taken off the refrigerator and put back on so many times. So when I saw these frames in the Dollar Tree, I had an epiphany moment and thought to myself, why don't I replace those rickety old magnet frames with some of my own? So today I'm going to show you how I'm turning Dollar Tree frames into an easy DIY photo frame refrigerator magnets. So the nice thing about these frames is they are rather light because they're just cardboard. But I love the look of them. They actually look a lot like a vintage inspired apothecary type thing with a little metal label holder right there. And they actually are really cute just by themselves since they do have a wooden edge. You could probably stain them whatever color you'd like to or you could paint them if you wanted to but i actually think i kind of like them just as is so i'm gonna leave them this way and kind of live with them for a while and see what i think about it the first thing that we're going to do to turn these into refrigerator magnets is we're actually going to take some pliers and we're going to take the easel back off just like that. It comes off really easy. And then the stickers. So that's one down. Let's do the rest of them real quick. For the second part, we actually want to, and it does have glass in it too, so you want to be careful with that, but I want to take these, I actually want to open them, so I'm just pressing the back out gently to get these open. You want to take this, and this is actually the template that you're going to use to cut your photos. If you have three and a half by fives, then great. I had four by six. So what you're actually going to do is you're gonna take your photo and you're gonna use this as a template to cut it out. So you will want to use it as a template or you can do this on the back and you can um, trace the outline. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. picture in the frame and that's how it looks perfect so for the back I purchased some adhesive magnetic business cards you could just buy magnet sheets if you wanted to but I'm not really sure which way is the least expensive option and they are actually self-adhesive so if you wanted to go in that direction I'm gonna use hot glue just to be sure. But these are literally the perfect size for the back of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two. It, this was a pack of 50 for $9. And just press down on it. Make sure it's got a good adhesion. Then tighten those back down. There you have, magnetic photo frame much classier than the ones I currently have. I chose to get eight photos or eight frames because there are seven members in my family. So that would be enough for an individual photo for each of us and then one photo of us all together. Mm -hmm. 
if you're doing the magnet sheet, you wanna make sure not to go over and to glue it over the sides so that you can get the back off and on easily. I'll dive right in the middle of it. And I am creating an actual lake of hot glue over here. flipping it around so it's flatter because this has a little bit of a pucker from where the easel back came off. So I'm going to actually try using the flat edge this time and see if that makes a difference. Because really the flatter the surface, the better. Um, an easy DIY photo frame refrigerator magnets. I'd say that 10 times fast. Another great thing about these is these would make excellent gifts. I mean, these are great grandparents gifts, not gonna lie. But these would be great gifts for a whole range of different holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, even party favors. These would be great party favors. Just put them in a cute little baggy and give them as a pair or whatever. You don't have to put a picture in them. The person can put their own picture in them. I think that these would make excellent gifts and they are super inexpensive. So great ideas. They're gonna look great on my refrigerator. Well guys, thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, would you please? And share this content with any friends or family you think would enjoy it. Thank you so much, bye.